Do you plan on working in railroad retirement? Learn what you can earn without getting deductions. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about working in retirement and specifically um, we know there's deductions, right? So this is assuming you're collecting your railroad retirement annuity and you're before your full retirement age. There are going to be deductions for working in railroad retirement. So let's go through this. Uh, I'll show you uh, just a background information on the deductions and then I'll show you what you uh, won't, uh, what earnings won't count, right? Importantly, won't count for those deductions. So on your tier one, right? Railroad retirement, tier one, tier two. The deductions on tier one are anything between uh, 62 and full retirement age. Now note, if you're one of those railroaders who's 60 and has 30 years, okay, this, deduct, this can go all the way back to 60. All right, so it's, uh, these are social security rules. So $1 for every $2 over uh, $19,560. This is the 2022 number, right? So if you're watching there, uh, just every year. And then in your full retirement age, right? So that one year before uh, your, or during your full retirement age, it's $1 for every $3 up to 51,960. And then at full retirement age and over, there is no deductions on your tier one portion of your railroad retirement annuity. Now on your tier two, okay, this gets a little more confusing. This has to do with your last previous employer. Um, let's see if I can give you an example, make it nice and simple. So let's say you left the railroad at 57, you had 30 years, you say, I'm done, I'm leaving at 57. And during those three years, you go work. So you go work for uh, you know, Home Depot, right? You collect your annuity at 60, and then you continue to work for Home Depot. That's called your last previous employer, uh, non-railroad employer, right? It's only about non-railroad employer. So there, you're going to lose $1 for every $2 of your Tier 2 up to 50%, assuming you're working for your last uh, previous uh, non-railroad employer. Okay, so those are the deductions. We know that, right? So what, now what counts as earnings? Well, we know wages counts as earnings, but what doesn't count? All right? Unemployment compensation does not count, okay? Pension income. This is important, right? Some railroaders have pensions. Uh, that won't count as earnings, and neither will the Tier 2, right, which is a kind of an ordinary income type pension, uh, the way I look at it. That won't count, so those don't count on there. Rental property is a very good one. Remember, for those following um, the whiteboard session, I did one on the Augusta rule, the 14 days of free rental income. So rental property, that won't count. That's interesting. Um, IRA distributions. All right, so, and that's also 401k distribution. Anything you have a tax deferred account that, you know, you're over the threshold, uh, over 59 and a half, that type of thing, or 55, depending upon the uh, 401k IRA. But those type of distributions, those are not earnings. Alimony, okay, is not earnings. And then the other big one is a, a spouse's earnings, right? Because you're saying, well, you know, I married, filed jointly, that type of thing. Maybe that's going to count as, you know, maybe my spouse is uh, making significant income. Uh, will that affect my deductions? No, it's uh, spouse earnings don't account, right? So it's basically what you're taking home from wages is what's going to count. Or if you're self-employed, you have some sort of business there. But those are important. Those are the earnings that don't count. So understand those. All right. So uh, I hope you found this video very helpful. I know some of you will be working in railroad retirement uh, for sure. Uh, reach out to me if you want to go through the boarding for railroad retirement process. Really great uh, uh, process to get the assessment if you're nearing railroad retirement or even just starting it to understand exactly what uh, railroad retirement looks like. You might, you, know, you might not even need to go back to work if you don't want to. It's up to you. Uh, please subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. It's growing. It's very doing well. I really appreciate that. Click on the notification bell to get the latest uh, whiteboard video that comes out. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.